Jamsit G. Nasawanji Tata was an Indian pioneer industrialist, who founded the Tata Group, India's biggest conglomerate company. He was born to a Parsi Zoroastrian family in Navsara then part of the princely state of Baroda. He founded what would later become the Tata Group of Companies. Jamsit G. Tata is regarded as the legendary father of Indian industry. When you have to give the lead in action, in ideas say Euro a lead which does not fit in with the very climate of opinion a Euro that is true courage, physical or mental or spiritual, call it what you like, and it is this type of courage and vision that Jamsit G. Tata showed. It is right that we should honor his memory and remember him as one of the big founders of modern India. A Euro Jawaharlal Nehru Early Life Jamsit G. Nasawanj Tata was born to Nasawanji and Jeevan by Tata on March 3, 1839 in Navsari, a small town in South Gujarat. Tata was the first businessman in a family of Parsi Zoroastrian priests. It was only natural that Nasawanji, would, as usual join the family priesthood, but the enterprising youngster broke the tradition to become the first member of the family to try his hand at business. He started trading in Mumbai. Jamsitji joined his father in Mumbai at the age of 14 and enrolled at the Elphinstone College completing his education as a Green Scholar. He was married to Hyarabha Jabu while he was still a student. He graduated from college in 1858 and joined his father's trading firm. It was a turbulent time to step into business as the Indian Rebellion of 1857 had just been suppressed by the British government. Jamsitji's knowledge expansion happened through successive trips abroad, mainly to England, America, continental Europe, and other places that convinced him that there was tremendous scope for Indian companies to forge through and make a foray in the British-dominated textile industry. Business Jamsitji worked in his father's company until he was 29. He founded a trading company in 1868 with a S21,000 capital. He bought a bankrupt oil mill at Chinchpokli in 1869 and converted it to a cotton mill, which he renamed Alexandra Mill. He sold the mill two years later for a profit. He set up another cotton mill at Nagpur in 1874, which he christened Empress Mill when Queen Victoria was proclaimed Empress of India on January 1, 1877. He devoted his life to four goals, setting up an iron and steel company, a world-class learning institution, a unique hotel and a hydroelectric plant. Only the hotel became a reality during his lifetime, with the inauguration of the Taj Mahal Hotel at Kolaba Waterfront in Bombay on December 3, 1903 at the cost of 42 million rupees. At that time it was the only hotel in India to have electricity. His successes work led to the three remaining ideas being achieved, Tata Steel is Asia's first and India's largest steel company. It became world's fifth largest steel company, after it acquired Chorus Group producing 28 million tons of steel annually. Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, the preeminent Indian institution for research and education in science and engineering. Tata Hydroelectric Power Supply Company, renamed Tata Power Company Limited, currently India's largest private electricity company with an installed generation capacity of over 8,000 MW. Personal life, Jamsit G. Tata married Hyarabha Jabu. Their sons, Darab G. Tata and Ratan G. Tata, succeeded Jamsit G. as the chairman of the Tata Group. Tata's sister Jabe, through marriage to a Bombay merchant, became mother of Shapya G. Siklachwala, who Jamsit G. employed to successfully prospect for coal and iron ore in Bahor and Orissa. Siklachwala later settled in England, initially to manage Tata's Manchester office and later became a communist member of the British Parliament. Death, while on a business trip in Germany in 1900, Tata became seriously ill. He died in Norheim on May 19, 1904, and was buried in the Parsi burial ground in Brookwood Cemetery, Woking, England. City named after him, Tata's iron and steel plant was set up at Sakshai village in Bihar. The village grew into a town and the railway station there was named Tataniga. Now it is a bustling metropolis known as Jamshedpur in Jharkhand, named in honor of the Jamshedji. The old village of Sakshai still exists within the city of Jamshedpur, as its suburb. Quotes, freedom without the strength to support it and, if need be, defend it, would be a cruel delusion. 
and the strength to defend freedom can itself only come from widespread industrialization and the infusion of modern science and technology into the country's economic life. There is one kind of charity common enough among us. It is that patchwork philanthropy which clothes the ragged, feeds the poor, and heals the sick. I am far from decrying the noble spirit which seeks to help a poor or suffering fellow being. However what advances a nation or a community is not so much to prop up its weakest and most helpless members, but to lift up the best and the most gifted, so as to make them of the greatest service to the country. Be sure to lay wide streets planted with shady trees, every other of a quick-growing variety. Be sure that there is plenty of space for lawns and gardens. Reserve large areas for football, hockey and parks. Earmark areas for Hindu temples, Mohammedan mosques and Christian churches. A Euro Jamsit Jitata in a letter to Sundar about his vision for the township that would eventually become Jamshedpur. He was not a man who cared to bask in the public eye. He disliked public gatherings, he did not care for making speeches, his sturdy strength of character prevented from fawning on any man, however great, for he himself was great in his own way, greater than most people realized. He sought no honor and he claimed no privilege, but the advancement of India and her myriad peoples was with him an abiding passion. A Euro The Times of India on Jamsit G. Tata's death, while many others worked on loosening the chains of slavery and hastening the march towards the dawn of freedom, Jamsit G. dreamed of and worked for life as it was to be fashioned after liberation. Most of the others worked for freedom from a bad life of servitude. Jamsitji worked for freedom for fashioning a better life of economic independence. A Euro Dr. Zakir Hussain, the former president of India, that he was a man of destiny is clear. It would seem, indeed, as if the hour of his birth, his life, his talents, his actions, the chain of events which he set in motion or influenced, and the services he rendered to his country and to his people, were all predestined as part of the greater destiny of India. A Euro J.R.D. Tata, no Indian of the present generation had done more for the commerce and industry of India. A Euro Lords Curtin, the Viceroy of India, following Jamsit G. Tata's demise, references. Further reading, R. M. Lala. For the Love of India, The Life and Times of Jamsit G. Tata. Penguin Books India. ISBN A 978-0-14-306206-6A, Din Shoyuji Waka. The Life and Life Work of J. N. Tata, with a Portrait Madrasa, External Links, Tata Group Jamsit G. Official Biography Webpage, History of Tata Through Images, Brief Life History of Jamsit G. Tata, Short Video Documentary about Mr. Jamsit G. Tata on YouTube. EPW at www.epw.org.in Jamsit G. Nusawanji Tata, A Centenary Tribute